Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm starting a new series on the channel I am calling Step Up Your Photo Game. My goal with this series is to give you guys some tips that'll take your photos to the next level. So these are just gonna be quick little videos, but I wanna give you guys some, just some little tips and tricks that will, so your photos are already here, they're about to be here. All right. So with that being said, today's tutorial is going to be how you can add some fake lens flares to your photos using Photoshop. We don't need any plugins for this. We're just going to be using the paintbrush tool. And I'm going to be showing you how I turned this photo into this photo. So we're going to start off. This is our completely raw, unedited photo. I'm going to start with some basic edits just to get the colors the way I want them to and get the tones correct. I'm not going to get into that too much because that's not really what this video is about. So I'll just speed this up real quick. All right, so I'm happy with that basic edit. I'm gonna go and hit open, get out of camera raw and hop into Photoshop. So the first thing I did was remove my front license plate. Uh, it's not really necessary, but it just makes the front of the car look a little cleaner. Plus I don't really want the world seeing my license plate, but now we get to the important part. So we're gonna create a new layer and select our brush tool here, then find a color that's gonna match these lights. Now we are basically gonna turn these headlights into more brightly flared lights to kind of make the photo look a little more cinematic. So we're gonna go into the oranges here you can try and sample the color in here too. So I'm gonna go with something like that. So we're gonna hit okay. Now up here, make sure your hardness is all the way down and your brush size is gonna vary depending on exactly what you're doing here. So I'm gonna make this brush just a little bit bigger than the headlight here. And I'm gonna click one right there and one right there. Now, this doesn't look great yet, obviously, but now we're gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We're gonna drag that up. The amount of blur is gonna completely vary, again, depending on your photo. And then we're gonna go to blending mode here. Now there's a couple blending modes that work really well for this, and you can even combine a couple of them. The first one you can try is screen. So that's gonna add a nice bright look to the lights. It's going to wash out that area a little more. Uh, I like this and I think it looks pretty realistic. Linear dodge and color dodge could also work. Again, this is gonna be some trial and error based on exactly what you're doing here. But these three are usually a safe bet. Now, if you want more of a saturated cinematic lighting effect, you can try either overlay or soft light. These are gonna add a little bit more of a richer, more saturated color to your photo. I'm gonna go with soft light for this one because it looks just a, a little more subtle. So now we're just gonna layer this. I'm gonna do one more. We're gonna make my brush just slightly bigger. Do exactly what we just did. I'm gonna apply the same Gaussian blur effect on those. And then I'm gonna do screen for those ones. Now, if the lighting effect looks a little too strong, you can also play with the opacity here and turn it down a bit. And for this one, we're gonna be mimicking the lens flare that comes from an anamorphic lens. So you might not know what that is, but you'll know it when you see it. It's in a lot of different movies and it's a very distinct lens flare that shows up only when you're using an anamorphic lens. And it basically looks like a long streak across the image. So I'm gonna add that and show you what it looks like. So for this one, we're not gonna use our brush tool. We're gonna use the elliptical marquee tool. And we're gonna zoom in over here. I'm gonna hold Alt and drag right on the center there. And we're gonna make this one go out maybe to here. It's gonna be pretty thin. I'm gonna do it just a little bit lower. I'm gonna have it stretch across a good portion of the image here. Now we're gonna press G to get our paint bucket tool and fill that in with orange. And do what we just did, we're gonna take the Gaussian blur again. This one's gonna need a little less blur. I really like how overlay and soft light look with this. I think I'm gonna choose overlay, it's a little more saturated. Now we're gonna do one more of those on this side for each effect here. Take our paint bucket tool, fill it in, and put the same Gaussian blur on there and the same overlay effect. Then I'm just gonna add a subtle curves adjustment just to kind of blend everything together nicely. There, we got the before and the after. So it's a very subtle effect, and if you do it right, people won't even notice that you've done it. But you can do this with any light, a lens flare, you can even add light that isn't even there in the image if you want. But a colored brush, some Gaussian blur, and some different blending modes can completely change a photo. And that is how you can step up your photo game to the next level. So if you like this video, you wanna see more of this series, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below letting me know what I should do next or any suggestions or any questions, just let me know. You can also find all the links to all my gear in the description, as well as all my social media links if you wanna give me a follow on Instagram, see more photos like this, all that fun stuff. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.